Hi everyone, it's Miss Salvatore here. I am going back to make sure that we have a recorded version of our Thanksgiving article and to go over how to complete it in case you were absent. So remember, before Thanksgiving, we were talking about what Thanksgiving looks like for you and your family. We talked about the first Thanksgiving, some history, and now I just wanna go over a few things with you, and then you and I are going to read the article and be able to answer some questions. So let's get started. All right, let me share my screen. Okay, so here we have some slides of the first Thanksgiving. Brief history about in the year mm, 14, 1400s, let's just say. Thanksgiving was um, a holiday. But it was in 1863 that Abraham Lincoln, who was a president, said that Thanksgiving in the United States was a national day and it was a holiday, okay? And people started to gather with their families and have what's called a Thanksgiving feast, okay? So the pilgrims arrived around the year 1620 and 1621, they harvested all of these crops and it was said that many pilgrims and the Wampanoags who were part of a Native American tribe had a feast together. They shared their meat, they shared their uh, produce, their duck, fish, berries, and they each brought something and together they all sat and had what is known as the first Thanksgiving. They had a feast. And we talked about the word feast um, before we read this article. Remember, a feast is a lot of food, okay? So Thanksgiving today, we talked about different things that we might eat. So you might have a turkey, you might have mashed potatoes, you might have cranberry sauce, you might have pumpkin pie, all of these things, okay? But the most important thing is that they say it's a day to give thanks and to be thankful for the people and the meal that you're about to eat. So I just want to go over what, um, what, I'm sorry, some vocabulary words, okay? So when we are planning a meal or a feast, there are certain words that we call that. So we went over main dish. The main dish is what is the big part and what you're going to eat the most of. So usually in the center, or the most important thing is the main dish. And for Thanksgiving, that was a turkey. We call this the main dish. Can you say main dish? Good. Okay. Then around the main dish, we have what we call side dishes or the sides, okay? That is anything like vegetables, mashed potatoes, mm, macaroni and cheese, something else that goes with the main dish, okay? So these are called side dishes. Can you say side dishes? Ready, set, go. Very good. You might also have squash, sweet potatoes, green bean casserole, and something very popular at a lot of Thanksgiving dinners is cornbread or bread or rolls or biscuits, okay? These are all sides. They go, there's a whole table of food you have the main dish, usually it is a meat or the, the thing that you're gonna eat the most of. 
Then you have your side dishes, all the things that you can fill your plate with. This is actually Miss Salvatore's favorite. If you've never tried it, um, maybe you could be adventurous and try it, but I love cranberry sauce. I love cranberry sauce and putting that on my plate. So if I was making a plate, my main dish would be turkey and I love some vegetables and I love cranberry sauce and I like sweet potatoes and then I drizzle on the, the gravy. That would be my Thanksgiving dinner, okay? And since we just had Thanksgiving, that's what was on my plate. So I want you to think, let's just go back and review some of these words. Okay, the main dish. Some people, usually on Thanksgiving, they have a turkey. What is your main dish that you eat at Thanksgiving? And you could practice saying, I eat turkey as my main dish. Okay, you're gonna fill in the blank. If you eat ham as your main dish, you can say, I eat ham as my main dish. Okay, so we're practicing filling in that sentence and practicing the whole sentence out loud. I eat blank as my main dish. Okay, Miss Salvatore would say, I eat turkey as my main dish. Go ahead and practice now. Very good. And then we have our side dishes. So if you had your plate, okay, so if this was my plate, that you put your food on. I put my turkey on it. What else do you put on your plate? Okay. My side dishes are, my side dishes are sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, vegetables, and gravy. That was a lot. But what do you put on your plate my side dishes are, okay, you might only have two things you put on your plate. That is okay. What do you like? My side dishes are, okay? So the two vocabulary words I wanted you to know was main dish and side dishes, okay? So you should be able to say, um, my main dish is turkey. My main dish is ham. My main dish is duck. Whatever you eat the most of, that is the center of your dinner, that is your main dish. And then we were able to say what sides we eat, okay? My side dishes that I like or I like you're able to tell me, and then there's something after dinner. After you eat, after you're full, oh my goodness. <sighs> there's one more part of the meal. Does anyone know what that's called? We did talk about it, but just in case some of you like your ice cream, it's called, this word right here, desserts. Desserts, make sure you be you practice desserts. That is your pie, your ice cream, um, what else? Cakes, cookies, okay? So sometimes pumpkin pie is a special one. So what dessert do you like? Do you like cookies, pies, ice cream? My dessert is blank. What dessert do you eat on Thanksgiving? All right. And then this is just to show you again, if you take a, a look, this is what a table might look like for Thanksgiving. You see the turkey is our main dish. 
you see all around you have the side dishes and your dessert. Mm, that looks really yummy. Mm, mm, mm. This is what someone's plate might look like. So if Miss Salvatore was to give you a plate, what would you put on your plate? You should be able to say, my main dish is, for this one it's turkey. My side dishes are stuffing, I think, stuffing, cranberry sauce, vegetables, potatoes, and stuffing, okay? And there's just another picture up close, okay? So we just reviewed main dishes and side dishes and dessert. So you should be able to pick out what is a main dish, what is a side dish, and after you're full and you wait a little bit, then you eat something sweet like ice cream, cake, pie. That is called dessert. Okay, so I'm gonna come off of share. And then our article that we were going to read was about the first Thanksgiving. So let me share my screen. So this was the article that we read. Take a look. You see the main dish, the sides, side dishes. And then when you were all done eating all of that, then I'm sure the table would be full of dessert or things that are sweet. So let's listen and read together about the first Thanksgiving and what Thanksgiving is like now in the United States. So please follow along. I will highlight as we read. The inspiration for the Thanksgiving feast in the United States by ReadWorks. Many Americans today enjoy a feast for Thanksgiving. The most important food is usually turkey. Other Thanksgiving dishes often include stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. The feast is inspired by a pilgrim and Wampanoag celebration from long ago, but that celebration looked very different from today's traditional feast. In 1621, people known as the Pilgrims had a huge celebration in what is now Plymouth, Massachusetts. They wanted to celebrate their successful harvest of crops. The pilgrims had arrived from Europe the year before the celebration. Some Wampanoag people also joined in on the celebration. Wampanoag people had been living in the area for thousands of years before the pilgrims arrived. The Wampanoag taught the pilgrims how to grow some crops like corn. There were even more Wampanoag people than pilgrims at the celebration. The celebration lasted for three days. All of the cooking and eating happened outside. The pilgrims and Wampanoag ate bread or porridge made from corn. They also ate a lot of deer or venison. The Wampanoag hunted the deer as a gift for the celebration. People today don't actually know a lot about the celebration. Why did the Wampanoag people join the pilgrims? No one knows for sure. Did they eat turkey? No one knows for sure. Experts think they probably ate duck or goose. They also might have had shellfish, squash, and fresh berries. Although the feast from long ago is very different from today's feast at Thanksgiving, Americans can thank the Wampanoag and pilgrims for the inspiration. So again, it's important to remember our three vocabulary words, main dish, or sometimes we call it main course. That is the center, the most important thing, or the most of something you will eat. And for Thanksgiving, it has usually been turkey. So main dish. Then we have side dish. That's everything else that you put on your plate. Okay. And then you have your dessert, your sweet treats. Okay. You need to know these three vocabulary words because on your questions that you are going to answer. I'm going to ask you, do you know what they mean? 
are you able to draw me or show me what is a main course, what is a side dish, and what is a dessert? And before we break for um, the two-week break in December, when I won't see your beautiful faces for a while, I am going to give you something to do where you can cut out different course main dishes, side dishes, and desserts, okay? So these three vocabulary words are very important for you to know. So if at any time you need to pause the video and go back, look at the picture of what a main dish is, side dishes, and desserts. Okay, be able to know what those three are. I'm gonna come off of share. Actually, let me cl click on the question set. Okay, so you will see some of the questions that are uploaded here. Okay, there are five questions. I am going to try to make a Google Doc, okay, or a survey so that you can easily do this. But number one says, What did the Pilgrim and Wampanoag celebration inspire? A. Today's Thanksgiving feast. The successful B. harvest of crops. Bread or porridge made from corn. Or D. The hunting of deer as a gift. Hmm. What did their celebration inspire? That means, what did they do the first Thanksgiving that still happens now? Hmm. Today's Thanksgiving feast. We have Thanksgiving every year on the fourth Thursday in November. So their first celebration inspired everyone to keep having that Thanksgiving tradition. So the answer is A. What does this text describe, okay? As we're reading all about the pilgrims, the Native American Wampanoag tribe coming, what does it describe? What are we reading about? A. The history of the different Thanksgiving dishes people eat today. B. The journey of the pilgrims from Europe to what is now Massachusetts. C. The pilgrim celebration which was joined by some Wampanoag people. Or D. The life of the Wampanoag people before the pilgrims arrived. What was the text? The text is what we read. What was it mostly about? It was mostly about what we eat okay the history of the different thanksgiving dishes people eat today the journey of the pilgrims from europe to what is now massachusetts the pilgrim celebration which was joined by some wampanoag people okay so c is the answer the pilgrims had a celebration the wampanoag people joined and now today we have this, so C would be your answer, okay? And then there are two more questions I want you to answer. Let's read these sentences from the text. Ms. Salvatore will read. Some Wampanoag people also joined in on the celebration. Wampanoag people had been living in the area for thousands of years before the pilgrims arrived. The Wampanoag taught the pilgrims how to grow some crops like corn. There were even more Wampanoag people and pilgrims at the celebration. Based on the information, what conclusion can you make about the Wampanoag people? So it says here, the Wampanoag people taught the pilgrims how to grow crops. There were more Wampanoag people than there were pilgrims. So what do we know? Here are your choices. The Wampanoag people never got along with the pilgrims. They didn't get along. Didn't they have dinner together? 
They did. So that is not right. It is not A. That is incorrect. Let's see, B. The Wampanoag people were a big part of the celebration. Were they part of the celebration? Yes, they were. But let's make sure that that is the best answer. Let's listen to C. The Wampanoag people's most important food was corn. That is true, but they said some crops like corn. Okay, so it's not C. And D. The Wampanoag people celebrated the pilgrim's arrival. Hmm. Did they celebrate? It was a great celebration, but they did not celebrate this. So what is your best answer? The Wampanoag people were a big part of the celebration. Okay, that is your answer B, okay? And then we have two more questions. Based on the text, number four, based on the text, how is today's Thanksgiving feast very different from the Pilgrim and Wampanoag celebration? A, today's Thanksgiving feast has a lot more food. B, today's Thanksgiving feast has very different food. C, today's Thanksgiving feast is a lot more delicious. D, today's Thanksgiving feast lasts a lot longer. Hmm, what do we think? It would be very different food, okay? Because a long time ago, they might not have been able to make some of the things that we eat. And then the last question, I will have it read, but I want you all to answer it on your own when you see the quiz and the questions, is what is the main idea of the text? That means what was this mostly about? Why did we read it, okay? Was it? The pilgrims celebrated their successful harvest with the Wampanoag, and their celebration inspired today's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving feast. B, Americans eat a lot of different dishes for Thanksgiving, including turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. They do, but let's make sure that before the pilgrim, pilgrims arrived in what is now Massachusetts, that is a state in the United States, Wampanoag people had been living there for thousands of years. Hmm. And D, at the pilgrim and Wampanoag celebration, they ate venison, bread, or porridge made from corn and probably duck or goose. Hmm. We're all thinking, if you have a whiteboard, and you wanna go ahead and write A, B, C, or D, which one you think I'm gonna say, one, two, three, flip, show me, show me your answers. And if you said A, you are correct, okay? So again, the most important thing is that you are able to tell the difference between our vocabulary words. What is a main dish? What are the side dishes? Let me get full. And what do we eat after? What desserts? Okay. And then we went through these questions. All right. And that is it as a review right now. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, I'm going to copy this all and put it in a um, Google Doc or a little quiz so you don't have to print. Okay.